There's an old song we've all heard before that goes, girls just want to have fun. But in 1976, here in Oklahoma City, these girls just wanted to play football and not just flag football or two-hand touch. Something that we'd always wanted to play, you know, as a, as a group of women rather than playing against men. We wanted to play against other women. That year, they got their wish with the Oklahoma City Dolls, a new women's tackle football team and the first of its kind in Oklahoma. You know, we, we wanted to win. Playing football was a serious sport for us and uh, we desperately wanted to win. And they won almost every game. The Oklahoma City Dolls, who played their home games at Taft Stadium, had a 32-4 overall record in four years, while claiming a pair of national championships. We just wanted to prove that we could do this. But women wearing helmets and shoulder pads in the 70s was not without controversy. The Dolls were formed during the rise of the women's rights movement in the 60s and 70s. The Equal Rights Amendment was reintroduced in 1972, and Title IX was also passed in 1972. But even with progress being made, the players soon found out they were tackling a much bigger issue off the field. I played softball and field hockey at the University of Oklahoma. And even with university sports, it wasn't something you went around campus telling people that you were a varsity athlete because you immediately got criticized for taking money away from the men's programs. It was fun. I was having fun, but I was never unaware of the fact that we were doing something that many, many people just simply didn't believe women should be doing. On top of that, none of the players were paid a dime, but for these women, showing the world that they could do anything, even play tackle football, was worth it. You know, everybody loves a winner, and everybody loves a Cinderella story. And we were Cinderella on steroids. And for every great Cinderella sports story, there's a movie. Well, we're going to be playing football. Football. You heard me. In 1981, two years after the team disbanded, a TV movie titled The Oklahoma City Dolls debuted on ABC with actress Susan Blakely playing the team's quarterback in a fictional adaptation of the real Dolls team. My character in the movie fighting for our equal uh, time off with the men. We had to get time off to practice football, which the men got, and we would take up the slack, you know? So we were fighting for that. Let's come to the finish, let's we get some defense, and offense too, for that matter. Susan played the role of an outspoken and determined player named Sally Jo Perky, who she says, besides being able to throw a perfect spiral, was a character very similar to herself. She was just feisty and real, and I mean, it was a kind of character that I connected with. I've been fighting for the ERA, for the Equal Rights Amendment. I'd marched and spoke in D.C., and this was a big part of my uh, what I cared about. And while the movie's plot is not based on the real story, the message it shares is as real as it gets. Baseball, basketball, kickball, you name it, I loved all that stuff. Till one day some adult told me it wasn't feminine. It was a, a real battle for women to get uh, equal pay or equal, equal time to do things that the men were doing. And now it's come to the forefront. Ready, go. Women in sports is indeed at the forefront in today's time. And here in Oklahoma, it's a force to be reckoned with. This is my outlet. I come out here to go to war with my team, go to war with my sisters. Now carrying the torch previously lit by the Oklahoma City Dolls is the Oklahoma City Lady Force, one of the top teams in the Women's Football Alliance, the largest and longest running competitive women's football league in the world. Shade Roberts owns the Lady Force while suiting up to play and says the toughness this team displays in every practice and every game is bigger than just football. Anything we do on and off the field in life, I've seen these ladies, you know, face adversity and get through it. And we've done it as a team. In only their second season, the Lady Force are a perfect 6-0, headed into the Division Three playoffs and are the favorites to win Oklahoma City's first women's football national championship since the Oklahoma City Dolls in 1979. And who knows, maybe they'll get a movie too. Ooh, 
man, that that is beyond me. Elgin Rucker, KOCO5 Sports.